Hello everyone, I want to quickly take us through prompting with autonomous agents we called AutoGPT. It's the first attempt at autonomous agents using current large language models. So what they do is that they execute multi-step tasks themselves without needing further prompting from you. This is AutoGPT documentation. We will be required paid account to access OpenAI API. Next thing to do is to get your OpenAI API keys. Yeah, you can create a new one or copy the one that you have before. So next thing is to download the projects from GitHub. As you can see, so go to code, download the zip file. I created a new folder on my desktop. So I will add to download Docker from the official site. And you have to either you create a new account or you sign in. So this is, so if you are using Apple or Windows, you'll be able to download your choice. So as you can see, I signed up using Google. Then sign in again. Then, yeah, I will search for the project I downloaded from GitHub, the AutoGPC project I downloaded on, on GitHub. You will see it here now. Go to the search button, click on it, search for significant. You will see it there, as you can see, pull and run. It will download. After that, I cannot minimize. So let's unzip the AutoGPC project that we downloaded. Inside the subfolder auto TBT, then I unzip it, open it. You have to do something here. Go to you have to show hidden files. Yeah. So in this particular subfolder, you have to go to option so that I can see some hidden files because that's where the file that we want to use is. So as you can see, show hidden files folder, click on it if you haven't applied that before. So as you can see, we have env.template. So we have to duplicate or copy and paste that. So after that, you will rename the duplicated one to .env. After that, click on edit. This is where we are going to paste the open AI API keys that we copied, the one that we generated. So to make it faster, just find open AI underscore API so that I can locate where it is earlier or faster. So paste it there. I won't be able to show it here because it's my own unique or secret key. So just assume you have pasted it there then. So we are going to move the new file into the main subfolder. What I did, I just drag it, then I dump it into the auto GPT subfolder. You will see it now. Great, so let's download Docker Compose file from GitHub. Let's click on it, download raw file because we are going to put it inside the subfolder too that we pasted our .env file. So we have to just, you know, cut it or you drag it into the folder that we are working with. As you can see, it will be here, yeah, so good. So we have all the five, all the files needed for this particular project. So what I did there is just to um search for terminal so this is where i i navigated to the main directory that i'm working on i may not be able to explain thoroughly what i did here but i'll just give a short explanation so here yeah, i informed auto what it needs to do as software developer who want to build personal portfolio for a data scientist so th those are the details 
So it's thinking, can you see? So I won't be able to go through this thoroughly. Yeah. As you can see, so it's just um running on its own what it needs to do, you know, the plans, the goals, the objective. But if you can pause the video, you you should be able to read through you know the lines of the task and what is doing. So yeah, I'm just uh, authorizing the auto GPT what it needs to do just to give an authorized order, either yes or no. I can also give feedback based on what it's doing. As you can see, it is thinking like normal woman then. So this is where the magic is. What it is doing right now is what can take some people hours, days to do. They get because it is accessing files on my local laptop, is also creating files on my local laptop. So it is using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to create the website for me. You can pause the video and read through the prompt line by line. As you can see, so here yeah, it's just showing that okay, it has completed some of the pages that I prompted the auto GPT to, to build for me. So yeah, it's done, and it's telling me the um, the folder that I could access the files. Yeah, this is the magic. As you can see, the project page. There is also home page too. There is there is curriculum Vate page. There is blog on data science page, and also um, there is the last page contact me, which you know these are the required pages for a personal portfolio though it may not be perfect but you know this is just the basic you know example of what we can use auto gpt to though it's at its early stage so we don't know what you know the capability in the next few months or few days may be but i'm just glad to that i i was able to you know to use auto gpt to you know to automate some tasks you know that can take me some days to to do so thank you very much thank you